Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. Now in today's video, we're back in Manchester to take a look at another one of the lost streams in Manchester. Today, we're looking at a lost stream that runs under Pomona Island. There it is there. Not as spectacular as you'd think. I'm guessing if you're from Manchester, you probably know a little bit of history about it. That's what it looks like now. It's pretty desolate. There's nothing really on it. It's more or less a wasteland. This is what it used to look like. Now, I'm not going to go too much into history about this place. I, it, I know it has a lot of history, but this is not what we're focusing on today. We're more focusing on the stream that runs directly through the middle of it. Now, this is what it used to look like. This is actually the Pomona Palace. Uh, very, very interesting, very interesting history. In the background there, you can also see it was very industrial. You can see the massive chimney. Now, the reason why there was a palace here, and you think, well, it's industrial. It's not going to fit in the landscape. Well, the reason why the palace was built there on Pomona Island is because this smoke and smog didn't blow over there. So it was like a very rare time that you'd actually breathe in, you know, pure air. In Victorian times, pure air was a luxury. So going to these places, it was very popular. A very popular palace because it was very clean air. And the reason why it's also got its name for Pomona, um, goddess of plants and such, because the Cornbrook Strawberry Gardens grew there as well. Because the air was so clean and the water was so much cleaner. So there you go. It's a little bit of history on the place. And then obviously it got turned into the docks which didn't last very long. I believe there was an explosion, but I'm not too sure about that. I've not done too much history on that. Now you'll have heard me say Cornbrook Strawberry Gardens. This is the Cornbrook. I believe this is near Pomona Island, or at least on it. I'm not sure, but this picture is of the Cornbrook. Now, I believe it was culverted on the Pomona Island after this picture. I'm guessing this is when it was still running through Pomona Island. Uh, I'm not too sure about when it was actually coveted, but I believe it's around 80 or 90 years old. Probably been upgraded over time. Um, but there you go, there's the Corn Brook, and this is the brook we'll be focusing on today. Now before it reaches Pomona Island, this is where it comes out, through this little slot. We're not going to go in this, you can see the mud. You can see that little slot where the water's going through, that means how deep it is. Corn Brook was actually, it had a little bit of flow in it, but there you go. It's, we're not going to attempt to go in here. Supposedly the, the mud's got even worse since Cornbrook Part 1 on Martin Zero's channel. So we're, we're not going to attempt to go in here. So it comes out of that little slot. Goes for about 15 metres above ground. Back underground through that little grill. And comes out into this, which is called James Brinley's Weir. Designed by James Brinley. Or, for short, just the Cornbrook Weir. Now, it's also a sump. It takes it under the Bridgewater Canal. So this photo here is looking at the Cornbrook Weir from the other side of the Bridgewater Canal. It's also used as a overflow for the Bridgewater Canal. If it were to overflow, it can go straight into the Cornbrook Weir and under the Bridgewater Canal into the culvert we're about to go into. Now, without further ado, let's get into our culvert. Good Good morning. So first of all, we're going to take a look at where the Corn Brook emerges into this culvert. It's a little bit strange, there's not really an infall, it just emerges out of this sump. The first bit is alright. Yeah. You know what? Then, if you can bend down over these gyms, if you get close up that fish, I'd take a shot. So, what's this? Is this a crust? Yeah, there's like a crust there. That's weird. Uh, Why is it like that? I'm just, I'm prime from Sheffield. So, this is, this is like normal. Almost. Hey, hold on. I'll go up to the arch and I'll come back. Okay. 
Oh yeah. I can see it. Ooh. Yeah. Must be some right flow in it sometimes, because that's got some proper drag on that shit. Right flow on it, because it's... Now, if you were to crawl up, that is, it's a crust. It's quite weird, actually. You'd just see a stagnant pit of water. You won't want to go in there because it just probably gets really deep. So, I didn't fancy crawling up that, so I didn't. And I turned back here. So now we're going to go straight back to where the corn brook opens up. There's someone else's gloves here. Now don't worry, <laughs> he did join back after a while. Um, <laughs> anyway, we're about to see some quite interesting. There were waves coming in because this does this does outfall into the Manchester Ship Canal. So when a boat went past, you see the waves come back at you. I found that awesome. Look at that. Yeah. So many fish. Just have stayed in the side, it's so silky. All the fish you get. There's so many. These are all alive, these. Yeah. The fuck is that? <laughs> so it's not corn brook water that. A lot more life than I thought they'd be down here. Especially it being the corn brook. Look at them there! They're all jumping. There's all there's fish fish jumping down here. That's <laughs> Oh, oh, we could have just gone in there. Well, you know. What is that bit? It's another uh, manual cover look. Now it would seem the closer we got to the outfall, the worse the underfoot got. Firstly, it was slippy. Secondly, it's quite a bit of rubble. <clears throat> and then thirdly, it was a lot of silt. Got a little bit silty. Uh, nothing major, it was just a little bit of uh, silt at the bottom that obviously gathered over time uh, which just weared off as you got closer really to the outfall but it wasn't very good underfoot wise even though it was concrete it's not a very well built culvert if I'm honest with you, you can see there there's quite a lot of rocks uh, no deep pools, no nothing, it was just a little bit uh, hard to walk on <laughs> They're not that big. They're not massive. So many fish. It's crazy. Jesus Christ. Ooh, ooh. 
You should see what it's like here, look at this. Look what I move. There's a lot of silver you are, you see all the new things right here. Shit. Oh, it's horrible. But there's. Oh, shit. So we're just about to go past something. You'll see something sticking out the water attached to the roof. There it is, there. That is actually holding part of the culvert up. That's it. They're going to have to change it sooner or later. That's another exit point just in case, and that's what we will be using to exit. And we're about to get up to the outfall. Right. Go to the ship, just go, because there is a drop off at some point. It needs to be on that. I'm just, I'm just edging, yeah. me, edging me way. And you can hold on here. You, you can't. might as well get a shot looking out like I did all them years ago. Ooh. Oh, there's fish bumping at me leg here now. I feel them all. <laughs> like quite a few. You feel it then? No, I didn't you feel it. You don't fit here. Two bumps at my leg then. There's some at. Well, you don't know about this panel, don't right. you? Come down with fish through, throw it in and watch. What's the step where you are, Parky? I've, 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 I've located it, and I, I did just feel a fish then, yeah? Yeah, I did bump it, you like it? Yeah, they're good, aren't they? <laughs> uh, what's Parky's GoPro like? What can he see? You can see out the railing. It just says it shows red at the minute. And here we are looking out into the Manchester Ship Canal where it outfalls. Some of this sort of on just, uh, just, just there. Just slightly. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I'm just trying to clean the shit off. <laughs> Lovely. Lovely job there. Well, I don't know where we are. We never saw the link because it was overgrown when we were. Help me, help me. Help it's quicker to walk above ground. Drop back down the other level. Yeah, you can see the pictures on the bridge, mate. What's this fucking thing then? Seriously, it is. You can be there. You can see. Shit, I've just put me... And fuck. then drop down and let Marcus get That shot. was just a little... If you put your finger in that, that's what happens. You out. Look at that. It's all water in my face. That was just from a little... I won't lick your fingers. Right, wait till I'm out. Let's get splashed. Please don't worry, it's a clip. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. <sighs> Anyway, come on, Jamie. All of you, put your head out. Come on. Hold on. Well, one more shot. You ready? All of you, put. So there we can see the Cornbrook comes out through that slot, through that little letterbox slot. Now I'd go down to take a look closer, but as I'm pointing out, just there, uh, just there, yeah. Very, very deep, very, very silty, so we're not going to get any closer. The closest we can get is from the inside. That concludes today's little video about the Cornbrook. I really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.